Good morning, Maria Regina, and happy Friday. And as Noah said last week, happy graduation day. That is so wild. Graduation day? Before you know it, that will be us. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Chris. I mean, we still have to finish seventh grade. I know that. I was just saying that time goes by so fast. I want to soak up every last minute of eighth grade. But I'm also looking forward to the seventh grade picnic and my summer vacation. But before we get to all that, we need to get through today. So let's begin. Please stand for morning prayer. In the, the name, name of the, the Father, and, and the Son, and, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us begin today's prayer with a prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. O most holy heart of Jesus, fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in temporal needs. Your blessing on all that I do, and the grace of a, of a holy death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Maria, most sacred heart of Jesus, pray for us. Maria Regina, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please remain standing as some of our younger school friends lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. I wonder what today's spotlight is. No clue, but it's definitely got to be shorter than the last week's spotlight. I bet Sophie knows. Sophie, clue us all in. Thank you, Vincent and Chris. I hear the eighth grade plan on making another appearance this week for our spotlight. Dim the lights and envelope, please. This week, we are once again shining a spotlight on our 8th graders. In technology class, the 8th grade worked on digital citizenship PSA videos. They wrote, filmed, edited, and produced their own videos to teach others about what not to do on the internet. Let's take a brief look at some clips for the various videos. Hey guys, guess what? I found a new friend. Cool. Do we know him? No, I met him on Roblox. Okay, cool. A topic came up in class. I think we need to discuss. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. What did you hear about my friend? Yes, Mikey. I know. That's the problem. Problem? I don't see a problem. Oh, yeah. I'll send him a picture of myself. Perfect. Now next time someone tells me that I don't know how Janelle looks, I can prove them wrong. What happened? I told Janelle that can I have it on Roblox? Too much information. And I'm not sure he's real, and I have a feeling he's not. Calm down, Mikey. I'll get the principal to call your mom. Thank you. Oh, thanks, man. No problem. What are you doing? Where did your mom to pick me up? Have we met before? Wait, your mom's picking you up, but every day you walk home from school. Yeah. But, wait, how did I walk home from school? Uh, you just told me. No, I didn't. Miss Ryan! Who is this? Is this your friend Donnell? No, I'm Stephen from West Bridgetown. He's lying! Yeah, he set up this whole thing for weeks to embarrass the kid that doesn't even know him. Fine, it's true. But all of you guys helped me through this. If, I, if I'm in trouble, you guys are too. Yeah. 
Wait, I have an idea. What? We can steal an online project from a website. All we gotta do is hack into it. How are we gonna do that? We can learn from a YouTube. Mr. Mateo is making sure Gavin is working, but Gavin can't stop thinking about Peter's plan. Peter? Yeah, Gavin? So, I think your idea is kind of genius, and I was wondering if maybe we can do that. Do you hear that? Yeah, they're going to cheat on the project. I don't want to get involved. Yeah. I wonder how they're going to cheat on it. I guess we'll never know. Ben! What? What's going on, Spencer? Gavin and a few others are cheating on the project. What? That's terrible! I'm going to do something about this. Okay, I'm not going to get involved, though. Sorry. Don't worry. I got it from here. Alright. Wow, this actually worked! Yeah, we got a 100! Gavin, please report to the principal's office immediately. Wait, you don't think... Uh... Oh, if it is what I think it is, then I'm so sorry. But I am not taking the blame. Hey everyone, this video teaches us that our actions always have consequences. Just like how Gavin tried to cheat on a project. Well, that's it. That's the video. Bye. Why do I have an email, email notification? I don't know. Check it out. Okay. Okay. It's an unknown user. Why would someone say that about you? I don't know. <laughs> crazy. I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> Man, that was so good. I know. But I blew our cover when we left. It's fine. They think it's you, though. So now they know that you're a part of it. Uh, as long as they don't know about you, we'll be chilling. Yeah, see you at school on Monday. We got work to do this weekend. Huh. <laughs> see you later. Guys, an unknown caller just texted me. I'm going to check it real quick. Who's this? Yeah. What is it? It's another one of these cyberbully texts. What is it this time? So bad. I, I don't want to say anything. I'm going to go talk to my dad about this. Dad, we need to talk. What happened? Mr. Mattel, can I speak to you for a minute? Yes, Peter. What seems to be the problem? So somebody by the name of Zachary has really been, has been cyberbullying me for the past week. His comments have really affected my feelings recently. Zach, you may be wondering why you're here. I am, sir. Well, I'm going to cut to the chase. Due to excessive cyberbullying, you have been expelled from school. Hey, is that you, Zach? Uh, no. Zach, I know that's you. You can't trick me. What happened to you? Well, you see, I, I go to job interviews all the time, but no one accepts me because of what I've done in the past. I cyberbullied you and got kicked out of everything because I kept making bad online decisions. So you see, I look like this because of what I've done online, but I've learned from my mistakes. Way to go, 8th grade. Thank you for the invaluable lessons and reminders that many of us could use. Those came out great. I can't wait to view them in their entirety once they go up on our school YouTube channel. And once again, congratulations to our 8th graders. We will miss you guys. Back to you in the lion's den. Oh, I was hoping it would be some of those photos that Miss Tayah didn't share in the 8th grade slideshow last week. You know the ones that Ariana mentioned last week? No, if she didn't share them and they were happy about it, I think that would be for the best. But I really want to see them. But then she could use photos or videos of us that we don't want shared. Do you really want that? Valid point. And I think it's a good time to segue to the weather. So, so yesterday it was a little rainy. I wonder how the weather is going to be today. More importantly, how will it be tonight? I know I wouldn't want rain for my graduation. Well, let's send it over to Chelsea to find out. Will there be rain this evening? Hey guys, have no fear. We will have a mix of sun and clouds as our graduates make the, uh, their way to church for graduation later today. Today will be mostly sunny with clouds starting to roll in this afternoon with a high of 82 degrees. Clouds will roll out overnight with a low of 65 degrees.
Tomorrow will be mostly sunny with a high of 79 degrees. Tomorrow night will be mostly clear with a low of 61 degrees. Sunday will be a mix of sun and clouds with a high of 76 degrees. Clouds ro roll in overnight with a low of 64 degrees. Now back to you in the lines then. Fingers crossed that the rain holds out. So last week we had a pretty epic dad joke segment. Dylan and Mateo did not disappoint. But good news, Mr. Scanapico is back with his own joke of the day. Mr. Scanapico, take it away. Good morning, Maria Regina, and happy Friday. It's Mr. Scanapico back with a dad joke of the week. So let's get right to it. How do you make a robot angry? Just keep pushing his buttons. Ha ha ha. That was really good. But I really did prefer Dylan and Mateo's jokes last week. So they were real knee slappers. Oh, brother. Always a comedian. Caleb, save yourself, or at least the audience. Tell us what royal announcement we have. Hey guys, I got a joke for you. What do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. Anyways, back to our regularly regularly scheduled content. Last week, the student council held its officer elections, and later today, our new officers will be installed for next year. Congratulations to Religious Coordinator Leo, Spirit Coordinator Joe, Secretary Angelica, Treasurer Connor, Vice President Ryan, and President Nick. And a big shout out to all of, our, all of the previous officers, especially our eighth graders. Thank you for all of your hard work this past year. Next week, we have a lot going on as we begin to wind down the school year. T minus two weeks, but who's counting? Grade seven will be out of the building most of the day on Monday as they have their annual seventh grade picnic. The newspaper club has its final meeting on Thursday and the final issue of the Rural Times will be released on Friday. The 8th grade will be back in the building next week as the Living Environment Regents is next week. And we did mention that next Friday, we kick off our annual final Spirit Week of the Year. Friday, June 14th is Flag Day, so students, faculty, and staff are asked to come dressed in red, white, and blue. Please refer to the flyer that was emailed to your parents and posted on social media for information about the other special themed days. I think that about covers everything for now. Back to you in the lines then. Thanks, Caleb. What's matching Monday? I think that's when two people come to school in the same outfit. You know they match. Don't we do that every day? Yeah, but now we get to match, but not in our own uniform. Oh, you want to wear matching Rangers jerseys? I think we're supposed to be a little bit more creative than that. How about we talk after the broadcast? Okay. Besides, we have some results to unveil. We do? Yes. Last week, Glenn and Adriana asked us which we prefer more, going to the beach or going to the lake. And? Well, Adriana and Glenn both voted in favor of the lake. And? Well, a few other students and teachers agreed. And? And everyone else on the second floor agreed the beach was better. Ariana and Madison were right. Most of our kids haven't been to a lake. And if they did, they clearly didn't like it. Well, that was underwhelming. Next week, we should ask the second floor who their favorite chipmunk is. What? The chipmunks. You know, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore? I know who the chipmunks are, but I have no clue why you're talking about them. Well, you Whoa. see. I really don't want to know. Instead, how? about we wrap up this episode. We have to head over to the church soon. Fine. As soon 
as as we celebrate the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus today, please remember that God is full of love, and just like God, we should show love and compassion to all. Keep shining bright, MR, and make good choices. Have a fantastic Friday and a blessed weekend.